What up, legends? Beautiful day. Springtime is here. End of April, 420 to be exact. Some of you all know what special day that is. Maybe not. Yeah, you do. Throw one for your boy. Anyways, legendary here. Dirty girl. Good old CR250. Ready to go getting something special today, y'all. Man, this apple. So good. Mm. Got something special for the old CR here. 2001. My graduation present from high school to myself. <coughs> Excuse me. My graduation to my present to myself when I graduated high school. 2010. Um, she's not the same bike she was back then. She got pretty much new everything uh, set up for me, of course. But today, we got going on. Just grab it here. This. This is a Magura Hymek Hydraulic Clutch Conversion Kit from Cable to Hydraulic. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, you know, I should wash her off first, but I'm gonna be ripping this thing as soon as I put this on. So I'm just gonna do a little, you know, a little dusting off here, some uh, a bit of elbow polishing maybe, and some squirt, squirt, squirt right around the area where I need to be working in. We're just gonna call it good because we're gonna just gonna get it dirty right away. So gonna get her dirty right away. So gosh, can't even speak today. Maybe because it's 420 and I may have partaken in some activities. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's a grimy one there she is. Look at that. And look at how dirty and nasty that is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely seen some playtime, yeah, yeah. You know, definitely have to squeak, squeak, squirt, squirt. Yep, take care of that there. Mm -hmm. All right, we're up here at the handlebars. This is the adjuster. I got to take this all the way in. So by doing that, I loosen the, or I back the stop nut. Let me get this boot out of the way out some so I can thread the whole thing in. Kinda hard to do holding the phone. I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna run this in. Then I'll be able to pop the cable out and then that'll give us some tension down there. Or some slack down there. Alright, and this slid out no problem. Just like that. Down here. Oh, going under it. Oops, sorry, camera died. Anyway, but now that we have that cable undone from the lever there in the perch, we don't even have to put any force on the actuator arm down here. Since the cable's loose, we can just pull down on that there, like that, get some extra slack up in there, you know what I'm saying? And then look, free as a bird. Free as a bird now. Going to hydraulic clutch cable now. No more cable clutch now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Gotta undo this here. Uh, which digit that holds the cables nice and snug to the thing thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, guys, too much 420. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna undo that. I gotta take the plastics off so um, to route the thing properly. So we'll get to that right now. That's food. That's food. Oh, yeah, some zip pads cut. It just pops right out. Little rubber O ring seats it on there. I'll show you here in a second. There she comes. There's the bottom. Ooh. That's some nice rubber action going on there. Okay. And then 
Here's that rubber O-ring I was talking about. That seals that in there at the bottom. There she goes. No more clutch cable. Spare parts. Spare parts, bud. Alright, you see what we're fed through in there? Right there. Okay. Going around this side just a little bit too tight. See what I mean? It just won't quite go in there safely to where I'm comfortable with it anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and just pop this line off real quick, beat it back, beat that through, and then just pop this back on. So, no problem. Check it out. Slave cylinder, right? Okay. This is second day of riding this thing. So this is less than three hours total. Ready? I know you guys can hear that. It's leaking already. Clutch performance is drastically decreasing. Fast. It's starting to creep when I put it in gear. What a disappointment. So I contacted Magura. I contacted the seller that I got it from on eBay. And they denied my return request. So that's great. Um, so they got some negative feedback, needless to say. And then also, sorry. Um, I contacted Magura about the situation because I'm clearly not happy. This is only the second ride. Less than three hours. So disappointing. Um, I haven't heard back from Magura yet, but I'll be sure to uh, update in the comments and let you know what they say. Because hopefully they'll be getting some replacement parts or replacement whole thing because this is ridiculous. 250 bucks for junk. I mean, it's defective, clearly. It's not supposed to leak like that. And like it does not perform like it like it did when I first installed it anymore. So junk. Real quick, just to show you where it's leaking from. Got my soap and water here. Just so you know that I'm not an idiot and it's not the bleeder. Go ahead and get our spray right here. All right, now watch. Look at that! Just that bubble come out of that cap there. I know you guys saw that. That wasn't from there. Maybe. Let me give it another squirt. Okay. Look at that. How stupid. What Magura said is that squish is normal, okay? Apparently the cap is vented, right, to, um, for whatever reason. So the caps are supposed to be vented, all right? And the squish is supposed to go away after a while because what happens is you go through a puddle of water or you wash your bike or something, which is what I did in my case, all right? And then just a little bit of water gets in there around the edge or something, and then that air just squeezes out, and then that's why you hear the squish, okay? But it's supposed to go away, all right? So, so far this still doesn't explain the de decreasing performance in clutch, right? And why my bike's creeping when you pull the clutch all the way in, okay? And we're now um, a whole another day worth of riding on this system, and we still have a squish. Listen. Yeah. So, I went back to the cable, all right? Got reused to that again. Okay, and while Magura was, you know, getting back to me and stuff, because I needed to ride my dirt bike, duh. And then, so they got back to me, told me it was normal, so I put it back on, all right? And I'm still squishing, and it's still getting worse, okay? Um, so, not normal, all right? Um, they want me to send the um, whole system to them, so they can bleed it and inspect it. And... Um, 
from what I understand, based on what he said in the email, was that um, if there was something wrong, I would have to pay for whatever service and parts need done to the thing, plus to ship it there and back. What? So I paid 260 for this defective piece of junk. Well, I mean, this one particularly is a piece of junk. The whole idea and concept is great. Love it. But this one is junk. So I paid $260 for junk, then to ship it there, for it to possibly have something wrong, then parts to, for them to fix it, and then send it back to me. That's like gonna be over 300 bucks for sure, for something that still may not work right, if I, you know, if I get it back. And then, so to make sure that, you know, it wasn't just that stupid lever that wasn't causing, it's not a stupid lever. All right, the lever's dope, the Midwest Mountain Engineering lever. Really, it's a dope lever. And the concept is great. It really does reduce pull by a little bit more. I don't know about 50% or whatever, but it does. Um, and I went back to the stock Magura lever, right? Let's see. Um, and yeah, it's, it's the same. <laughs> so it's obviously a defective system. And I don't want to send it back because that's ridiculous. So I'm going to wait to see what they say again. But this video will be done before that. So I guess I'm going back to cable again. Thumbs down. So that's that, and also I did some research online myself to see if anybody else had a similar problem, and a lot of people have, and a lot of people just end up putting the thing back on the shelf and going back to cable anyways, or to some other clutch system that doesn't exist anymore or something. Kilo system by Easy Rider, yeah, it doesn't exist anymore, so that sucks. So yeah, um, I will link the uh, threads that and the discussions that I read, which had valuable information for me. In the description, uh, yeah, in the video description below, so you guys can read it yourself if you want. Cause, uh, yeah, it was really helpful what those guys said. But we're still at this point, so yeah. And I was gonna give you guys a sweet rundown of this dope lever that I got from Midwest Mountain Engineering, but since the system doesn't work, guess I can't. Guess you guys are gonna have to wait until I get some replacement parts. If I do, even, and if not. Well, I guess you just have to get that review from somebody else. It was dope. Dope lever. I'm so sad that it's not working, guys. You don't even know. The clutch feel was amazing. Ah, it's frustrating. All right, well, thanks again for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, legends.